Hello, I'm Mrs. Charity. Welcome to the Glorious Heritage Overview of Catholic Church History. Discover the amazing story of the Church together as a family as you color and paste your way through the timeline and printables, which you can find on our website. And now, let's move into our topic for today. Hello, I'm Mr. Charity, and welcome to the Glorious Heritage Catholic History video series. Today's topic is number 137, The Uprisings of 1848. The French Revolution of 1789 was a monumental event that profoundly transformed Europe in the years, decades, and centuries that followed. To illustrate its impact, consider this example. Imagine that you have a comfortable pillow filled with goose feathers. In the past, pillows were often filled with soft feathers. Now, picture taking this pillow to a high tower on a windy day and shaking it so all of the feathers are released. The wind would scatter the feathers far and wide across the countryside, making it nearly impossible to gather them back together again. Similarly, the French Revolution dispersed radical ideas throughout Europe. Before the Revolution, these ideas were contained, much like feathers in a pillow. However, the Revolution allowed these evil ideas to spread far and wide. Once these ideas took root in people's hearts and minds, it became nearly impossible to get rid of them. Prior to the French Revolution, many Catholics in Europe believed it was good and right to be ruled by a Catholic king. They cherished their faith and they resisted the entry of other religions into their kingdoms. However, after the French Revolution, many Catholics began to adopt the revolutionary ideas, making it difficult for the church to counteract them. Consequently, some Catholics started to prefer a government that was secular instead of Catholic, and also preferred governments that did not try to stop non-Catholic and false religions. The revolutions of 1848 were an example that demonstrated this new way of thinking. After Napoleon's defeat, Europe's nobility and kings regained control, but the people no longer wanted them anymore. Then in 1848, violent uprisings erupted across Europe, helped and organized by the church's enemies. These uprisings, occurring in numerous countries at the same time, showed that Europe had been changed forever by the French Revolution's evil ideas. Pope Pius IX, who was Pope at this time, strongly opposed the 1848 uprisings, but few Catholics heeded his warnings. He wrote a document called the Syllabus of Errors to condemn the liberal and modern ideas of the revolutionaries. Although the uprisings ultimately failed, they did not give up though. They changed their strategy and in the following years they directly attacked the Pope's territories, ending in the theft of the Papal States in 1870, which was the topic of our last video. Now Mrs. Charity will tell you more about Pope Pius IX and the time that he had to flee Rome because of the violent anti-Catholic riots of 1848. Hello, I am Mrs. Charity. In November of 1848, the same year of the 1848 uprisings, Pope Pius IX had to flee Rome for fear of being killed. A group of Italian revolutionaries marched to the Vatican, where Pope Pius IX lived and began to yell for the Pope. They started to fight violently and even killed the Italian Prime Minister. In order to escape, Pope Pius IX disguised himself as a simple priest and managed to get away from the mob of revolutionaries. He escaped Rome and stayed away for two years, finally returning in 1850 when it was safe. Welcome back. Now let me read you a little poem about the French Revolution and the uprisings of 1848 and how the Catholic Church condemned them. The French Revolution's winds did blow, spreading ideas that began to grow. For liberalism, the demons did call. These notions spread 
affecting all. In 1848 the flames did ignite, uprisings surged, a fierce new fight. Pope Pius IX, with steadfast might, condemned the errors born in the night. He warned of chaos and morals lost, of faith and order the heavy cost. The church upheld the truth divine, against the tie they kept the sacred line. The syllabus of errors, his bold decree, refuted the lies, sought to set minds free. For in the church we place our trust to guide the faithful, fair and just. Well, that's all for today. In our next video, we'll talk about the new French monarchy that was briefly restored after Napoleon. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. Visit our website, www.gloriousheritagecartoons.com where you can find more educational supplements, cartoons, books, and printables. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram to get notified of our latest updates and videos. And if you like our work and want to support us, you can make a donation on our website or on Patreon. We really appreciate your generosity and kindness. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel, and see you next time.